Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for the Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. Now we will observe a moment of silence. Thank you, Stratford. This broadcast is brought to you by The Yogurt Spot, located on the corner of Kirkwood and Memorial Drive. The flavor of the month is Raz Granite. Good morning, Stratford. Today is November the 13th. I'm Amin Kazori. And I'm Linwood Campbell. And you're watching SHTV. <laughs> Tuesday was Veterans Day. Cameron Hankel sat down with a few veterans at our school and talked to them about their service. As we celebrate Veterans Day, we take a closer look at just some of the veterans teaching here. Remarkably, they weren't all dressed in camo or driving tanks. You know, it wasn't as, as terrifying, you know, as, as you know, some of the movies and stuff that you see around mm -hmm. boot camp. I was able to travel all over the world. Met a lot of nice people. Aside from touring the world, they also learned valuable lessons. It's very important that you serve your country. It's taking personal responsibility to, to play your part as part of a team. But of course, there were some fun times as well. You got to fly around in helicopters, drive tanks, throw hand grenades, and blow stuff up. Visit shsoracle.com for more on Veterans Day. Here's Jordan Watterson reporting on some new interesting flavors at Baskin Robbins. For this Veterans Day, Baskin Robbins has planned something special. First Class Camouflage, a swirl flavor of salty caramel, chocolate, and vanilla cake, is not only a delicious trio, but a way to help our vets. For every scoop sold, a dime is donated to the United Service Organizations in honor of U.S. troops, military families, and veterans. The First Class Camouflage flavor will be available throughout the rest of November. Here's Katherine Eigenstein with the latest on sports. This past weekend, Stratford won 41-3 against Waller. Tomorrow, football has their first playoff game at Tolly vs. Waltrip. Volleyball got eliminated out of the playoffs last week. Boys Cross Country won state championship for the second time in a row. Congratulations to Austin Richards for being second fastest runner in the state. Girls Cross Country got ninth place. Girls Varsity Basketball has a tournament Thursday, November 13th through Saturday, November 15th. Find out how much our students know in this week's edition of the IQ Test with Marlena Brown. Barack Obama. Barack Obama. Barack Obama. Um, I'm going to say his first name is John. 1918? 1918? 1918. 1918. No idea. Armistice Day. Memorial Day. General. Uh, five-star general? Commander. Sign up to get your VOE in the main office before the last lunch period. To receive it the same day after school, 
BOEs cannot be issued if a student has lost credit for a course due to accepted absences. On Thursday, November 13th, French Club will be going to Patasserie Mabie, meet in room 107 by 310, bring 5 to $10. FDA, remember there's a meeting on Monday, November 17th in room 350. Bring your $20 dues. Students, the band uses the South parking lot after school. All cars must be moved by 3.30. If you do not move your car, it will be towed. Spartans, the University of Alabama is coming to Stratford. Monday, November 17th at 2.30 p.m. in room 305. The meeting that was scheduled for November 20th has been rescheduled for December 4th. Morning meeting will be at 9 a.m. due to late start and 3.05 for the afternoon meeting. Our sheets are due at that time. This has been Amin Kazori and Linwood Campbell. Make it a great day or not, Stratford. The, the choice, choice is, is yours. yours.